Hi friends, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am going to be showing you guys a do a lesson with me. I know that these do a lesson with me videos are very, very helpful uh, when it comes to homeschooling. And so I wanted to give you guys this video to help any of you out there who are new to homeschooling or just who want to see how we do a lesson in our home. Today's video is brought to you guys in partnership with The Good and the Beautiful, and I am so excited to be showing you guys this video because if you uh, are not familiar, The Good and the Beautiful completely redid their math programs over the summer for grades K through five, and they came out with their own uh, math curriculum called Simply Good and Beautiful Math for each of those levels. Now, if you are a longtime watcher, you know that we used their math last year for uh, third grade for my daughter, and we enjoyed it. There were things I loved about it, things that maybe I didn't really love a ton, but overall, we really enjoyed the math program and uh, the things that people didn't really enjoy about that math program, I was able to work around and overlook. It wasn't a deal breaker for me, but I understand that everyone's homeschool is different. So when they were going to be coming out with this brand new Simply Good and Beautiful math, I was kind of wondering what my thoughts were gonna be as far as would there be a big difference? Is it really gonna be like that much more simple? I mean, how much more simple can you make math? I, I had my reservations and questions, but I have to tell you guys, spoiler alert, right out of the gate, we absolutely love this math program. And I say we because my daughter who is doing it, she absolutely loves this math. Um, it really is much more simple and it still has all the good and the beautiful elements. And so I give the good and the beautiful 10 out of 10 for what they were able to do with revising and making their own math program just a little more simple so that homeschooling isn't overwhelming. It can be done if you have a lot of little kids, if you have a lot of children in general. And for me, I, you know, I have four kids and so I need all of the stuff that we use to be fairly simple and still giving my kids a high quality education. I don't wanna sacrifice content for ease and I feel like The Good and the Beautiful did such a great job with this. So before we get, got into our doing a lesson today, this is going to be live, this is going to be real time, I wanted to you know, give a little intro. So now I'm gonna show you guys everything that came with Math 4 from Simply, um, the Simply Good and Beautiful Math, that way you can see like what you're gonna be getting. I also wanna point out the price point on this course is amazing, and you guys will see why here in a second, but let me show you everything that comes with the Math 4. So with Math 4, the Simply Good and Beautiful Math 4, you're going to get your course book, you're going to get a math scratch pad, which is, uh, you can see it's got a grid, a line grid paper. Uh, this is something we tore out, but this comes inside this mental math um, mastery book, which map mysteries. And so every time your child completes a certain amount, I'll show you the one we did already, um, a certain amount of mental math strategies here, then they earn a sticker, which are these, to place on a map and they'll be able to see a beautiful picture at the end, which is just a fun way to incentivize them to, um, to work on those strategies. So this also comes with the course. So you get this book, those stickers are ripped out of here. You get your course book, you get your math scratch pad. And then for math four, you get a bunch of flashcards for multiplication. Now you guys, if you've been watching for a while, you know that my daughter did musical multiplication from the good and the beautiful. And so she has 99% of her multiplication facts down, but I brought these down to show you guys we are still working on 12s. So um, you get four sets of these. They're labeled set right up there, A through D. And um, that's just, you know, a little bonus that comes with it. The answers are on the back. 
and so you get your sets of multiplication cards. So this is everything that you get with math four um, for simply good and beautiful math. You don't get any more manipulatives than what you guys see here. I do believe the younger grades come with like a really simple manipulative kit, not some like crazy overwhelming thing. Um, but this is everything for math four. So we are going to go ahead and get started with my daughter's lesson today. We are still in the beginning of the book, but we have been doing um, school now for, um, we're in our third week, and so I felt like I could really do a video for you guys now, and so we are on lesson 11, so some of this is still reviewing, um, rounding to the millions place. Now, I wanna just show you guys, so at the beginning of every lesson, there is an optional video lesson with a QR code to scan, you do not have to have your kids watch that. They can definitely do the lesson with you just reading to them and then they can work on their review right there before it's the next lesson there. But I do want to tell you that we love the videos. My daughter loves the videos. She loves watching them. She has her little headphones here and um, I am all for her listening to a review video on math before we get into our lesson. And so that is optional. It's not required, but there is a lot of benefit to that video lesson. They she does such a great job. And um, so anyways, you start that there. And then really, here's their mini lesson. And then lesson practice, which is on what they did here. And then there is a review section within every lesson on the back. And then their multiplication fact practice at the bottom. So these review pages, uh, my daughter can do completely on her own and that is it for a lesson so if you guys were using the other version of math from them uh, last year or years previously you remember that sometimes it would be you know quite a few pages so i really love that it's very condensed and still amazing so uh, we always start with the video portion first so that is where we are going to start today so olivia loves scanning it herself and getting right on to the good and the beautiful's website she knows exactly how to navigate it as you guys can see lesson 11 and it's labeled right there and then she just pushes the video and makes it and there she is and then she'll just go ahead and watch that before um, we work on her mini lesson together the teacher guides her through and will reference like when to pause and of course you can pause it longer if your kids need more time but she's going to watch that video now Okay, so rounding is replacing a number with a number close in value that is simpler to, to work with. With smaller numbers, we sometimes use a number line like the one below to help visualize how one number relates to another. So for example, 628, if we're trying to do maybe a math problem in our head, it's much easier to work with 630 than it is 628. And we would round up because if we have a number in the ones that is five or greater, we go up. If it's four or less, we round down. Um, and you you remember rounding, right? Yeah. So we use four steps when we round to any place value. First, we find the digit in the place we want to round to and we underline it. So in this one, we are rounding to the thousands place because it underlines the digit there. Step two, circle the digit to the right. That's the one we look at. Then if that one is... So now she is done with her lesson practice, which was what the lesson was on today. I really find that the videos um, help them 
have their minds be reminded if it's a review and it just really is great for introducing the mathematical concept she's reading all the cool facts right now um, but I love like the color images on here and I love how it's using math in a real world application did you finish reading them Yes. Okay, so now we're done with the lesson practice. So now on the back side, she has a review page, which is great for just making sure that the skills that they're learning or being reminded of are not forgotten. And so I will really just sit here next to her if she has a question, but for the majority of these reviews, she's been able to do them on her own. So that is what we are going to do next. Perpendicular line segments. What does perpendicular mean? Do you need to look back? <laughs> oh, makes sense. Perfect right angles or letter L's. Line segments, though, have what at the end? A dot. A point. Horizontal, a pair of horizontal parallel lines. So horizontal is this way, but a pair is how many? Two. So we need to add another one in. Okay, so tens is going to be 30 or 40. Oh, okay. Why would that be 30? Oh, yes, you're right, because it was in the 20s. Okay, now hundreds. So now we're going to underline the eight. We, I mean, you don't have to do it, but you can just know that. And then you look to the two. So is that going to be 800 or 900? 800. Okay. And, Okay, we need to go over your language arts unit, so just gather that up and bring it here with the unit check, and I'll do it when I'm done with Olivia. Yeah. 6,900 or 800? Or se is this thousands? It's thousands. So 7,000? Yep. Good. Okay, so once the lesson review is done on the back, today she just reviewed what she learned yesterday with um, geometrical lines. She reviewed the rounding that she learned today. She did her multiplying facts, which we already knew. She read a word problem and solved it. Um, solving for unknowns here and then some adding and subtracting review so that is the summary of her math lesson and so now uh, we will do the flashcards and the mental math I don't do flashcards every day I probably do them every other day just because she's getting solid um, multiplying review in here and then this mental math thing might be one of my favorite parts about this new course um, because mental math is really really important and so it has the questions you ask here and then it has the answers here which makes it really easy um, and then I just check them off if for some reason we get to one and um, you know it's it's we're just not able to do it there then we'll just stick on that one until we can move forward so you know you can do it however you want and then that's where they get the fun sticker to add on to the map so I do this at the end that's the last part of her math lesson is the mental math and then flashcard review so that is what we are gonna do next so I want you to I want you to subtract 20 from 37. Subtract 20 from 37. You do that in my head. Try. 
we know that 20 is two tens. So if we take away two tens from 37, what are we gonna have left? 27? No, that would be one ten. Oh, 17. 17, good. Now, can you take away 20 from 58? No. 20 from 58. So put 58 on the top in your mind and then t take away two tens from the 58. If you take away two tens from 38, good. 49, 72, 72. Was that a double? Mm -hmm. 54. 42, 42, 45, 30, 63, 48, 63, 24, 18, 48. Good job. Let's just review a few of these so we can start remembering the 12s, okay? I know 9 times 12. Okay, let's start there. What's 9 times 12? 108. Good. What about, whoa, 12 times 11? 181? No, 132. And let's do this one. 12 times 6? 78. No, 72. And let's do this one, and then we'll stop there. What's 12, 5 times 60. 12? 60. Good. So these are the ones we're going to work on. You got these That's ones. it down. for a math lesson, a single math lesson. All in all, I think that took about 35 minutes. So I'm anticipating that as we get farther into our year, some of the more um, difficult and new concepts will end up taking longer. But right now, we are just enjoying the fact that each day math is taking us about 30 to 35 minutes to complete and it's going great. So I hope you guys enjoyed doing a lesson with me and my daughter. I hope it was helpful to you guys. If you're wondering, you know, how do you actually teach fourth grade math at home? Well, we love our Simply Good and Beautiful Math. She's putting her stuff away and then we are done for the day. So if you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and post them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy homeschool videos here on my channel and I hope you guys are doing well and I will see you all in my next one really soon. Bye guys.